All right, fourth graders, this is your February book report. We are so excited to tell you about this book report. Um, we think you guys are really going to enjoy it. This is a comic strip book report. So you will see here. Um, actually, before I get started, I want to tell you that this is the book report that you will be showing your parents at our student-led conferences. So it's really important that you do your best work. Um, this will be going out um, or it will be a part of your student-led conference. So the first thing that you're going to do um, is we're going to look at the calendar. Okay, for this, um, we're already past here, so you're somewhere in this week. Okay, and this is going to be one of those months where you um, read and work on filling out your organizer at the same time. Okay, you won't want to wait until the very end to fill out your organizer. You will want to have your organizer out and next to you while you're reading each day. Okay, so you will have until the 23rd to finish your book and finish your organizer, and then you'll have three days um, at the end of the month to finish your comic strip. Okay, so let's look. For this book report, you will be choosing six major scenes in your book for your comic strip. Okay, so you are going to actually as you come up with a scene that you think is important, think of our sequencing events. So first this happened, then this happened, and you'll need six scenes, okay? So you're going to um, kind of fill out these scenes here. If you want to, you can use that, but you have to use this, okay? This is your comic strip planning sheet. So what you're going to do is you are going to write your um, scenes here. So I, so I am using the book Fireflies. So I'm going to show you that that is the book that I'm going to use as an example. And you will click in Google Classroom and it will take you to this comic creator. Okay, um, you will need to write the title of your con cartoon. Mine's gonna be Fireflies. Um, a subtitle, um, so I might say a boy and his fireflies, I don't really know right now, and then who is the author, I'm going to put Julie Brinklow, okay, and then I'm going to press next, and you're going to select the six panels for your comic strip. And then here you are going to get to choose your people. Okay, so I'm going to choose the boy that I want to use. Not that. So. Okay, so I'm going to use him. So you will get to um, make him however you want him to look. So you can do different things. It changes his hair. Okay, so this is kind of what you're doing. You're creating um, a comic strip. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. So for fireflies, uh, as I'm reading, I'm gonna pause. Oh, that was an important scene. I should probably capture that on my sheet here. Okay, so I would do um, the scene and actions that occur. So I'm going to do um, boy sees fireflies, fireflies. Okay, the characters present are just the boy, his mom, I believe it's his mom. Let's look here. There's the boy. Yeah. So the boy, mom, and dad. Okay. So boy, mom, and dad. Because I'll need to have all three of those characters on my comic strip. And then the landscape and props. So what I want you to see is that you can pick a landscape here. So horizontal line, inside a room, lake, mountain, road, or river, blank, cave, or city. So for mine... 
he is obviously inside a room looking out a window. I'm not going to be able to find the perfect one, but um, I'm going to use inside a room. And then for the props, I have a book, rock, castle, chair, so I could possibly use a chair because he's sitting in a chair. I could use um, a table. Um, I could use a moon because it's at night. I'm seeing the fireflies. Um, I could use a pine tree. So I'm thinking of all the things that could be in my scene. Maybe a leafy tree. I might look into that. See, oh yeah, probably a leafy tree. So I'll just leave that. Okay. Then I have to come up with a caption. This is what this is a sentence that you're actually going to type. Okay. So I'm going to summarize what's happening in this scene. Okay. So remember, he's looking out the window. He sees the fireflies. He asks his parents if he can go out. Okay, so I'm going to actually write the scene. So this will be really easy when I go to do this. Okay, so the boy was looking out the window. You know what? I've already written it here. You guys are actually going to write it, but I didn't want to waste your time writing that. So the boy was looking out the window and saw fireflies and he asked to go out. Okay, so then I would... Now you guys have to finish your whole organizer, but for the sake of the video, um, so it doesn't get too long, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna use this organizer to move it over to your scene. Okay, so I have my the boy. I'm gonna go ahead and um, choose another background. So I think that that is the room. So I need to go back to the room. Okay, so the room, I'm gonna choose the boy. I'm not really sure how to get rid of this dinosaur. Um, there's a way. Okay, so when I look here, I have a boy, a mom, and a dad. So I'm gonna go get the mom and the dad put them in there. So I'm going to click on the person. Then, oh, you know what? That's a better boy. I'll use that as the boy. And then this will be the dad. Now I need to go get a mom because that was my other character. Oh, that looks like a perfect mom right there. So I'll put her in the scene. Okay, now go back to your organizer. I said my landscape was going to be inside a room, which I already chose that. Now I need a chair, a table, a moon, and a tree. So I'm going to click um, props and I'm just going to click through until I see what I need. So there's a chair. So I can drag the chair. I'm not sure how to make him sit in it. Okay. Eh, figure this out. You guys will be much better at this than me need a table. I'm guessing that is a table. Okay. And I think they said there was a moon. Um, problem is, where's the moon going to go? Maybe this is a window. I could put the moon right here. Okay. So now I have the boy. Um, sitting at the table. <laughs> Not really. Ah! Okay, there we go. Now it kind, it kind of looks like he's sitting at the table. There we go. I'm going to leave that just like that. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my organizer, and I'm going to type my caption. Okay. So, go here type my caption using capital letters. The boy was sitting at his dinner table. He looked out the window and saw the fireflies. Oh, it's not going to let me type that. 
Um, so it's it's going to put a limit on how long you can type. So it probably just needs to be. Um, so I'm going to say the boy was sitting at his dinner table when he saw fireflies. Let's see if I can get this all. He wanted to go out. Ah. So I'll just leave that. Ah, so you'll have to kind of move your sentence to make it. I'm just going to leave that there. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the next panel, and you would go back. You would get the second scene off of your planning sheet, and then you would go and make that second scene. Okay, then you would go to the third scene, the fourth scene, the fifth scene, the sixth scene, and then you would click finish. Okay, then you're going to click print. Now mine's only going to have one scene, so it won't be complete. I'm in the preview. Okay, and this is what your comic will look like, okay? Um, but yours will be all filled out, and then we're going to cut these out and put them on construction paper, okay? Okay, that is all. The main thing I want you to remember is to um, organize, use your organizer as you go. Okay, and fill it out. You're not getting on this website until you're completely done with your book and your organizer is completely filled out.